Hello, welcome to another episode in this video series on doing simple GIS project. In this episode, we are going to look at completing a GIS project that has to do with the preparation of the world map for the Qatar 2022 World Cup. So here our client wanted us to prepare the shape file or the vector map of the world map to some variables and the variables includes the, the variables includes the ranking of the participating countries the confederation of the participating countries and also the participating countries in the 2022 qatar world cup so this kind of a uh, file is usually good for making analysis that has to do with the topic in question so what we are going to do here we are going to source for the vector shape file map and then map it to the variables i listed earlier on so let me take you through and show you what we have for this so the kind of data we have for this project are as follow. So the first thing we have is uh, this, uh, the group for the participating countries. So we are provided with the list of the countries and their groups. And then we also source for the confederation of all the FIFA countries. So, for us to use this in the GIS environment, we need to prepare it in a format that is uh, acceptable. We need to have it in two different columns. One column will be for the teams, that's the countries, and then one column will be for the uh, groups. So that is the friendly format that is acceptable in a GIS. So we can do this manually, or we can use an automated process to do it. I here I'm going to do it manually, but I will just do it behind the scene, and uh, I'm not going to prolong the video by showing you how I prepare this into uh, an Excel. So if you if you're interested in knowing how to do it automatically, I'm going to record a separate video for that, so you can easily use Python to read this file and then prepare. Or arrange them into the format that is uh, acceptable. So let me take you to the one I prepared for use in this project. So here we have uh, the Excel file for the teams. So you can see, as you can see, we have two columns: the teams and then the groups. So the teams, the, that's the countries, are listed in this column, while the groups are listed in this column. So this is what we are going to import into the GIS environment. And also, I also have this file, which has uh, the teams and then they are ranking. So this was sourced from the FIFA website. So this is the current uh, countries uh, or the team rankings as at 2022, July 2022. So if you go to the FIFA website, you should be able to just grab this and then put it in your Excel file. So we are going to add this to the GIS environment and then link it to the map. So for the map of the world, we need to, there are many places where you can get the shape file or the vector map of the world. So in my own case, I went to the natural art website and then I downloaded the copy. So you can easily do that. Let me show you the website so that you can easily get your own copy. So here's the natural art website. So on this page, you can easily download a copy of uh, the world administrative uh, boundaries. So admin zero, it contains the countries. So you can download it and then make use of it. So this is what I downloaded. Currently it is at the version 5.11 and then the size is just less than 5 MB. So get a copy and then import it into your uh, QGIS environment. So here I'm going to load the world map uh, layer by simply going to add a 
the vector layer. Then I will navigate to the folder where I have the file, open it, and then add it to the map canvas. So here I have the world map added to my QGIS environment. So the next thing I need to do is uh, check the attribute table. So I click on the layer and then I open the attribute table. So from the attribute table, I should have an idea of how the data are and then look at uh, what is uh, useful and then delete the layer that are not useful. So as you can see, the current version of this uh, map has a lot of attributes, a lot of attribute data, and we are not going to make use of most of them. So the most important thing we need is uh, this particular attribute column called names. So the name, and then maybe probably the long name. So the long name is just the extension of uh, this uh, other name. I think there are some names that are, there are some countries that have, that have their names abbreviated. Like this country, it has its name abbreviated. So the long name has the full name. So I think uh, I'm going to make use of just the name long column. Then aside from that, I don't think I need any other column here. There is also another column, this column. No, I don't think it's good for us. Then we we'll also have other columns that have the country names in different languages. So I don't think I, I need them. I don't think uh, we need all of this. You can, easily, you can see the income and whatever columns. So I'm going to download, I'm going to, so I'm going to delete all other irrelevant columns and then I will just leave the one that is important to me. So what, before I do that, let me make a copy of this file. So I'll just right click and then save a copy. So I'm going to save the features. So I'm making a copy just in case if I need to go back to the original file. If something went wrong and then I have a copy of the original, I can easily go back to the original file, get a backup. So I'm going to save it as a shape file. Or I can use, let me actually use Joe package. So let me use Joe package layer. I think uh, it is more powerful than the shape file. And presently, the QGIS community is shifting from making shifting from uh, shape file to making use of Joe package as their default uh, as their GIS as their the default GIS file type. So let me browse to the folder where I'm going to save this particular uh, copy of the map. So I just give the new file name as a world map and then it's going to be saved as a geo package file so I'll click on save and then click on ok remember that i'm using the wgs84 coordinate reference system with the epsg code of 4326 so save and then add it to the map so it's going to save the entire layer into a different into a new copy of uh, the shape file. So here I have uh, a new layer, and then I can open up the attribute table and then make my changes accordingly. So from the attribute table, I'm going to enable editing, then I'm going to delete all the unwanted uh, attribute columns. So I'll just use this button here called delete fields. So here I'm going to delete all the fields. The first one is feature ID. I think I'm going to leave that one. And then I'm going to select every other uh, field. So the only one I'm going to make leave is this uh, name long, which is the country names. So I'll select every other one and then delete. So let's delete the remaining columns. So all these are fields that are not necessary for this project. So I'll just select all of them and delete them. So I'm going to pause the video and then when I'm done deleting, I'll return to continue with the exercise.
So here we are done deleting the unwanted fields. So all the attributes, unwanted attribute fields are gone. So I can save and then exit from the editing mode. Okay, now that we have our layer, map layer cleaned up, the next thing we need to do is to bring in the uh, tabular data that we have prepared earlier. So I'm going to close this and exit from the toggle editing. This layer, I don't think we need it again, so I'm going to remove it from the layer panel. And then let me recheck my attribute. Yes, so we have the correct attribute information. So now I'm going to bring in the spreadsheet. That is uh, this for the team ranking, and then this one for the uh, participating groups. That's uh, the teams and then their groups. So let me first of all import the teams and the groups into the map. So I'm going to go to add vector, then navigate to the location where I have the uh, tabular information. I'm going to select all files. So the Qatar 2022 grouping. So it's a CSV file. So I'll just add it as a normal layer table. So if I open it up, you see that it is the same content we have as what is in the spreadsheet. So this is just the normal layer CSV file. So we have added it as a layer to the QGIS layer panel. So now I'll open up the property of the map. So from the property window, I'm going to go to the join tab. Then I'm going to join the table to the map. So I'll go add a new join. So I'm going to join the Qatar 2022 grouping. And then I'm going to join it based on the teams. So the target field on the on the map is going to be the name log. That's it. The names of the countries correspond to the names of the teams in the team table. So I'm going to join all the fields. Then the custom field name. Let me use the custom field name. I'm going to use a ABQG for Qatar group, but Qatar grouping underscore underscore as Q for Qatar G for grouping underscore. So click on OK, then click on OK again. So now let's check the attributes. So here we have the attributes. And then I can sort based on the grouping. And you can see now that we have a, a delay a join. But there is a problem. If you sort by the by the team, we are supposed to have 32 teams, but here we have a 29. So if I select the first and the last, so we have, where we have 32, we are supposed to have 32 as it is on the spreadsheet. If you look at on the spreadsheet, we have 32. If you remove the column, column names, we should have a 32 records. But the teams that were joined to the map are just 29 of them. So what happened? It means something is wrong with others. So let me do the sorting by, by group. And then we'll see that group H, one is missing. Group G is complete because we should have four teams or four countries in each group. Group F is complete. Group E is also complete. Group D is also complete. Group C is also complete. Then group B, we have a two are missing. So we have two missing in group B and then one missing in group 
h that makes this 3 so 3 plus 29 should give us 32 so we have 3 missing so let's check the spreadsheet to be sure of the quantity that are missing so we have a uh, group h one is missing in group h so if i go back to check my attribute table you see that group h will have a uh, uruguay is there portugal is there and then ghana is there so what is missing is south korea so why is it missing if you go back to the map no if you go back to the attribute table of the map and then you check for south korea i think uh, most likely the reason why it's missing is because the names are not spelled the same but let's check south korea i think it should be under s so here we are at s let me expand this column And then we have a South Nigeria, something like South Korea here. So most likely the name is spelled differently. Maybe the Republic of South Korea. Yeah, I think uh, Republic of Korea. So here we have uh, the name Republic of Korea. I think there are, we are supposed to have uh, two Koreas. One should be north and then one should be the south. So let's let me be sure. Let me use my identifier tool. Which country is this one? So this is Democratic Republic of Korea. Why this is a uh, Republic of Korea? So this should be the North Korea. Why then this should this should be the South Korea? So let's go back to the attribute table. So I'm going to toggle the editing. Then Republic of Korea. The name should be uh, South South Korea. So I'm just editing it. I'm just editing it. So South Korea. Then if I go back to if I sort the teams. Let me sort by group. So if I sort by group, the next one that is missing is a uh, is a group B. We have two missing in group B. So I'll go back to my spreadsheet and then compare with the attributes. So group B, two countries are missing. So here, the ones that were joined are United States and then Iran. So group B, we have a United States and then Iran. So Wales and then England are missing. So why are they missing? It is most likely they have a different name from the source uh, map. So the reason why the reason why we have this is because of different naming convention and different. Uh, uh, from the different data set because the data sets are not from the same source the map is from natural art while uh, the names of the teams are from fifa so there are two different sources and different sources will have different naming convention for different countries even in some cases the, the spelling may differ so that's why we are having this uh, uh problem in, in the data not being joined to the correct their country so iran uh, sorry england and the US are the two countries that are missing in b so let's go to the map and then i will go to where we have uh, england then this this should be where we should have england and then ways should be somewhere somewhere here i think so I think uh, I think the issue we have here is that uh, United Kingdom United Kingdom is made up of uh, several countries, including England. United Kingdom is made up of Wales, uh, 
uh, I think include uh, Northern Ireland, uh, Scotland, and maybe some other things. So most likely we have to split up this United Kingdom. So we'll have uh, England separately and then Wales separately. Since uh, in FIFA, in FIFA, they are two separate countries. They are not the same. So Wales, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Scotland, they are all separate countries according to FIFA. While uh, the natural arts recognize them as United Kingdom. So I'm going to do this behind the scene so that we can save time using a uh, in the recording of this video okay here is how i am going to solve the problem so what i did was to actually go to the internet then search for the map of uh, the great uh, great britain so this part is actually made up of a uh, three uh, about four countries scotland northern ireland Wales, and then the england so what the four countries are, are recognized as united kingdom by natural art data so what i did was to go to the global administrative boundary to download uh, the great britain admin uh, share file so let me show you the website so after making some google research i found out that the four of them scotland northern ireland Wales, and then england are supposed to be separate so i went to gadm.org and then i downloaded the, the administrative boundary map of the united kingdom so i downloaded the shape file version you can also make use of the two package version or the kmz anyone you are comfortable working with so what i decided to make use of the shape file so i downloaded it and then loaded it into the into my qgs environment so this is what i am going to use to make represent uh, the waste region so here you can see we have a uh, four polygons one representing waste the second one representing Scotland, the other one Northern Ireland, and then the fourth one is England. So we need to keep uh, England and Wales separately in our own uh, data set. So what I'm going to do here now is simply match these two uh, informations together. So before then, I will simply delete from the world map, I'm going to delete the part, the portion that I'm not interested in. So I'll select it and then click on delete. So if I enable the uh, Great Britain, you see that it's covering the portion I did, it, which is perfect. So now I now need to match the two together. So before then, I think there will be need for me to clean up this attribute but no problem with that i can leave it as it is and then make clean do the cleaning after the match so what i'm going to do next is go to the vector menu then under the data management tools i'll select match vector layers so i'm going to match just two vector layers into one layer so from the match window match vector layers uh, window i will select the layers i'm going to match which is the great britain and the main boundary and then uh, the world uh, map we are working on so click on ok then click on the system wgs then save it to a file so i'm going to save it to a file i'm going to navigate so navigate to the project Folder location and then save it. So I'm, I'm going to save it as a shape file. I'll just call it world map version one. So that I will I want to keep track of the versions I'm working I'm working with. So I just call it version one and then 
click on run to perform the match and then after the match is done you add it to the map canvas so at least i will close the window after it is done so this is the match result so these other layers let me just remove them because i don't need them anymore so for the match result let me open the attribute table and then as you can see it has imported attribute table from all the other from the other other layer as the result of the match so what i'm going to do i'm going to do another cleaning to clean up some of these uh, wanted uh, attribute fields so toggle the edit then go to delete fields then i'm going to select all these unwanted fields and then but before then let me see where do we have the names of the uh where do we have the names of yeah I think this is where we have the names of uh of the new layer we added that's the england uh, northern ireland and so on. so what i'm going to do here i will simply select them i can do it manually but let me just show you the automated way of doing it so name one so we want to move the attributes these names to these uh, long names here so i will select the four polygons then i'll go to uh, open field calculator so there i'm going to move the attribute of name one from the great beating column uh, shape file into uh, the name long which was which was the original uh, attribute field in the world map we were working on earlier so i'll go to update existing field so the field i'm going to update is uh name long and then i'm going to update it with the field called name one yes and then make sure that you check only the op only update for selected features so i'm going to update only the four selected features that is england Wales, scotland and then uh, northern ireland so i will do that and then click on ok then you can see that the names we are moved from the name one column to the name long column so i will save then i will now delete the unwanted air columns so all these are the columns that came from the layer we downloaded from the G, uh, global administrative uh, boundary uh, map uh, boundary uh, website then these ones are were created as a result of the match we did on the two layers so I'll select them and then click on delete so this will delete the columns and we delete the names so now if I sort if I sort you can now see that we have a uh, we have uh, our informations just as before so what we need to do now is to update the teams and then uh, the groups so the columns the features we're interested in are uh, england and the uh, weights so i'll select the two so for england the name of the team we'll just copy it over england and then the group is group b always i'll do the same thing copy the name and then the group is group b so with that i think we are done if you now check our record we now have 32 uh, records so all the groups are now in order and then you can see that we have a uh, four group a four teams in group b four teams in group c and so on up to group h so that is exactly what we have in the spreadsheet 
So if I go back to the map, if I zoom to the stand, I can save the edit and then exit or toggle out the edit. So if I save, you now see that we have, we can now see the spatial distribution of the participating teams in the 20, Qatar 2022 World Cup. So our data set is, is in order now. I can close the attribute table. Then I can remove this uh, table. I don't need it anymore. So I think uh, the next thing we now need to do is to import the second table, which is uh, this. So this table has the ranking for all the teams, including those who are participating and those who are not participating for the year 2022. So here we are going to we are also going to have the same experience as we saw, and I will allow you to handle it and then do the cleanup. So you can see right from here we have a problem here. This is Côte d'Ivoire, and you can see that the spelling is it has a wild character here because of the uh, encoding system using the spreadsheet. Here to have another issue here. I also have some other issues here. So all these are going to be handled after the major import. So these are usually uh, the usual kind of uh, problems or challenges you face when you are merging data from different sources. So let's see how we can do that and then let's see how many results will be matched successfully. So I'm going to add the table, the ranking table. I will navigate to the location and then add it. So the FIFA ranking table is added. I'll close. Then I can preview the attribute. You can see these are the rankings and then these are the teams. You can sort by the ranking. And then we have a uh, 211 uh, teams. So let's merge it to the world uh, shape file, or to the world map. So I'm going to open up the, the property. Then under the join tab, I'll click on add join. So I'm joining the FIFA ranking. And then I'm joining, um, the join field is going to be the teams. And then here the join name is going to be the name long. So these are the country names that will correspond to the data on the map and then the data on the table. So I want to join the rank and then the teams. And then the costume uh, field name. I'm going to call it FR. FR underscore FIFA. F for FIFA and then R for ranking. Underscore. So I'll click on OK. And then click on OK. So I can now check the attributes to see our ranking. So if I sort based on the ranking team i will see that we will see that we have a lot of success here so we have a total of 188 uh records that were that were perfectly joined to the ranking uh, table so i uh, remember that the total record we have on the table was 211 let me be sure. So here we have a uh, yeah two eleven records. So two eleven minus two eleven minus uh one eight eight. We have roughly about twenty three countries that were not joined to the attribute. And uh, I think uh. I'm not going to waste time to do this. Already I've shown you how we solve the problem using the other table. So the problem will be from the names or from the spelling or from the characters used from the different sources. So if you if I go back, I think the only thing I would be interested in, I'll make sure that those countries that are participating in the World Cup are also have their records joined. So if I select the ones that are not joined, 
you can see that we have close to 72 records. So some of these records are not available on the FIFA ranking table. That's why you can see the record is up to 72. But from the FIFA ranking table, we only have just 23 that needed to be joined out of these 72. So what I'm going to concern, what I'm going to say with are those participating countries so that are not uh, joined. So if I sort based on the group, and then if I scroll up, you see that uh, you see that we have a few selected uh, countries that are actually not that we are part of that are participating in the World Cup, and then their ranking is not uh, joined correctly. So the first is South Korea. So let's investigate that to see the reason why South Korea was not joined. So I'm going to minimize this. Then I'll go to the I'll open up the attribute table on for the FIFA ranking table. Then I think uh, the issue should be that the spelling provided by FIFA is different from that provided by the source of the shape file. That's a natural art. Let me sort the team alphabetically. So if I check under S or under R, let's see under S. Now we want to see South Korea here. This South Africa, Sudan. So South Korea is not here. So probably it should be under R. Yes, Republic of Korea. So you can see the Republic of Korea is a uh, should have been North Korea. Then this. Uh, DPR is uh, South Korea. So North Korea is a uh, Republic of Korea. But on the attribute table for the map, we have uh, a different information there. And that is why you see the conflict. So here we have, we have South Korea. And then here we have Republic of Korea. So we can easily bring in the ranking. So I'll click on edit. So the name should be the ranking is uh okay the ranking is 29 while the name is uh republic of korea so but i'm not able to edit these two fields because they are joined from the attribute so what i will do is to save the layer double edit and then i'll save it to a new layer i will export it to a new layer Yes, let me use Joe package. This time around, I'll just call it World version 2. So I'm using Joe package. Then I'll click on uh, OK. OK, I think I have issue with the, with the field. It's either I delete this field, this field ID, or I can rename it to a different thing. But the best thing is let me just rename it. So go to export, save. So if you are saving to your package, you should be mindful of the field ID you use. So the field ID here, I'll just add the word new to it. So field ID new. With the shape file, you don't need to bother about this field ID. But with your package, you have to give a unique field ID when you're saving, when you're exporting a new geometry. So if you don't want to use a different name, you can delete the existing field ID and then maintain the same name. So let's click on OK. So overwrite the existing file. So we can now delete this. So if I go back, open up the attribute table here, and then let me sort. Based on the FIFA ranking uh, teams, and you can see that we have 72, but that is not the measure of concern. The, our point of interest is to have these participating countries to have their ranks added. So let me go back to 
the FIFA ranking table. So on the FIFA ranking table, we were able to know that the Republic of Korea is actually South Korea. So if I scroll to where we have our Republic of Korea, the ranking is uh, 29. So I'm going to update the field here. So the ranking is uh, 29. Then the name, I think I'll just use the same name. Yeah. Instead of using the other name, let's maintain this name. Because this is what is available in the data that was provided by the client. So then the next uh, country is Iran. So I'm not sure why Iran was not imported, but let me check where we have I. Okay, you can see the, the way Iran was spelled here is different. IR then Iran. I think this IR stands for Islamic Republic of Iran. So Iran is a participating country and then the ranking is 21. So I will just maintain the name here, Iran. So you can see the naming conventions from the two data sources. This is from FIFA, while this is from Natural Art. So since we are using, we are working on the map, let's maintain the name on Natural Art. Then the next is United States. I think uh, the reason why United States was not joined properly is because I, uh, US was just used, USA was used, and then instead of uh, United States. So the ranking is 15. The ranking is uh, 15. And then let's maintain the name, United States, as made available by Natural Art. Then the next, uh, I think we only have just three of them. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. I think that's all. So just three of them. So you can see the naming convention that uh, would, that caused the joining uh, issues. So you can do the same thing for this and other ones. So I'm going to leave this about 20, 20 of them for you to handle. So you should be able to do it by yourself. So we have successfully completed, uh, I think, uh, the second tax. If I can remove the FIFA ranking table at this point, I don't need it. So here we have, uh, we have successfully imported the map and then we have added we all have, we have joined two layers the first is the grouping the 2022 fifa ranking uh, fifa world cup uh, grouping and then the second is uh, the fifa rankings so we have successfully added the fifa ranking especially for the participating countries in the 2022 world cup so other countries who are not participating in the 2022 World Cup, they are ranking, for those who are ranking, we are not joined correctly. If you have watched the video from the beginning, you should be able to handle the, handle the, the process of correcting the joined the layer. So you should be able to do that on your own. So then the next thing we need to do is, uh, are the confederations. So we have a, so if you remember, we have a, this information for the confederations. So we have about five or six confederations that makes up the FIFA uh, confederations. So we have the Asian uh, Football Confederation. We have the Confederation of African Football, CAF. We have the uh, confederation of uh, North, America, North Central and then the Caribbean uh, Football Association. It is called CONCACAF. Then we have that of the North Southern America, which is uh, called uh, CONMEBOL. I think uh, it is, I don't know whether this is Spanish or, or whatever language. Campeonato Sadri Cano de Football. So maybe this is this should be Spanish, I think. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing pronouncing it correctly. Then we have the Shenia Football Confederation. 
then we have the UEFA, that's the Europe, European Union of uh, European Football Association. So we have the list of the countries for each of the confederations that makes of FIFA. So we need to add a column to the attribute table and then state the confederation of each of the countries. So what we need to do is toggle the edit, then click on the new attribute field. So I will just call the new attribute field confederation. I think this is more than 11 characters. Yes, it's, it's more than 11 characters. So it will, it will be truncated if you are using a shape file. But recall that this very layer is on the geo package. So geo package can take up to, I think, up to 26 characters for the name of a attribute field. So you can see this is one upper hand of using a geo package instead of a shape file. On the shape file, you can't make use of this because this is more than 11 characters. So the type of the field is going to be a text. So it's going to be a string field. So you can see we have other field types, including JSON, date, date time, binary object, booleans, boolean. So if you're using a shape file, you will not see this. So but since we are using a geo package file, you can see we have extra uh, field types. So here, all we're interested in is just the string or the text, which is also available on the shape file. So I click on OK, and then I have the column created. So to, to populate this column, all you need to do is go to the field calculator, then update the field you created, that's the configuration field. So we are going to update the existing field, which is the configuration field. So what I will do is simply go to my note, I'm going to start with this association of football confederation. That's the Asian football confederation. So I'll copy the member countries of the Asian football confederation, which is ACF. Then I'll, I'll go back to the attribute field and make the selection first before I update the existing field. So I'll go to select feature by expression then i'm going to i want to select the long name that's the names of the countries or the teams so I'll go to field then the name long then i'll write the expression as this so for long name in in this list so this is a list of asian uh confederation the uh, the the list of asian football confederation the countries that's made up the asian football confederation so do this and then make the selection so you can see that i have all the list all the member countries selected then what matters most is some of them will not be selected, obviously, because of the naming convention, but I will make sure that the participating countries in the 2022 FIFA World Cup are selected. So, but before then, I will just update the confederation uh, uh, column. So I'll go to the field calculator, then update existing field, and then make sure that only update 34, 38 selected features. Make sure that it is checked. Then I will select the existing field. Then remember that the countries that are selected are this. So I will just update the field, update the selected field with the abbreviation of ACM Football Confederation. So I'll do that and I click on OK. And then you can see that only those countries that are selected are now updated with this uh, abbreviation AFC. So I'll clear the selection and I'll 
save then i will repeat the same thing for the next confederation which is CAF. so CAF stands for confederation of african football caf so i'm going to make the selection so select the field is long name and then the expression is the field in the whole of this uh, text or the whole of this uh, expression uh, i think in python this will be this will be a token because we are using the brackets notation then click on select uh, and then we have about 45 countries selected so of course they they should be in africa and then as you can see some few ones are not selected but that is not a problem you can easily fix that later on so what i need to do next is go to the field calculator from the attribute table field calculator then update existing field which is the confederation field and then only update 45 selected features so the 45 selected features are CAF, confederation of african football so type it and then click on wiki you can see they are now updated yes so can clear selection then go back to my notes the next is CONCACAF, that's the Confederation of North, Central America, and then Caribbean Association. Association. So I'll copy the countries. Then go back and make the selection. So the field name we're using is name long in, and then open and close parentheses, and then paste in the list select so in this case 34 countries were selected so these are the countries that will make up the uh, conquer calf so let me update the attribute of the confederation column or confederation field so I will copy the abbreviation conquer calf and then now enter it into the expression so I'm updating only the 34 selected features. So click on OK. And then all of those features will now be selected as CONCACAF. So I'll do for the next confederation, which is uh, the South American Football Association. So I'll copy the countries, clear selection, then make the select make the make new selection. So the field is this, and the expression is similar to what we have. So select, and then we have 10 countries selected, and copy the abbreviation, and go back and then update the existing field in the field calculator. So I'll enter the abbreviation for the 10 selected features which are the countries in the South American region. So I'll go back to my notes. So the next one is uh, the Oceania. That's OFC. So I'll just copy it. Then I'll go back to the attribute table. Then clear selection. After clearing the selection, I'll make a new selection for the Oceanian uh, countries. So the field is name long in. I'll paste in the member countries for Oceania. Uh, select. So 10 countries were selected. Yeah, I'll copy the application here then close so only for the 10 countries selected i want to update the confederation field so go to the field calculator update existing field and the name of the field is this and then i want to update it with the abbreviation 
of Oceania Football Confederation. Click OK, and then as you can see here, we now updated. So next, after Oceania, which is the last one, we say UEFA. So I'll copy the member countries that make up UEFA. Then clear the selection, make a new selection. I will now put in the name of the field we are using that contain the names of the countries. Then paste in the uh, member countries for UEFA and then make a selection. So we have 50 teams of 50 countries selected in this case. So I'll now update the existing confederation attribute code with the abbreviation of UEFA. So I'll click on OK. And then you can see that all the selected fields are now updated with the UEFA UEFA. So I'll clear selection, save changes, and then exit. So if I sort, and if sort the column by confederation. And you can see that we now have all the confederations added as well. So we have some few countries that are not added. Simply this is because maybe the names, the way the names are spelled here are different from the way we got them from the uh, source. So these names are gotten from uh, the FIFA website. And then most likely, the, there are some naming conventions that are not the same, as we have seen earlier. So you can look it up and then make the necessary adjustment. So I'm going to be interested in just the teams that are participating in, uh, in, uh, in 2022 20, FIFA World Cup. So I'm going to sort by the groups. And then I will see how many groups are not does how many group how many which of the country that doesn't have its confederation uh column populated so i don't think we have any because these are the entire team we have 32 if i go up these are the 32 teams and then all the 32 teams they have their confederation highlighted they have the confederation their confederation column field they are FIFA ranking also is also added and then we'll have the groups and then we'll have the names of the teams. So all the details are there. So I think I'm going to delete this field ID because we don't need it anymore. We we'll have a new field ID. So the second one is unnecessary. So there we go. So we'll save, then exit, edit. So with this, we now have our data. And this is most likely what the client needed from us. So at the end of the day, after making every other changes or making the final uh, edit, you can now save this shape file or this uh, geo package file then send it to him and that is exactly what he needed and you can now you can make it you can make use of the file to perform other analysis that he may be interested in so with this we have come to the end of this uh js project and i hope you enjoyed it if you have any question don't hesitate to contact me and I'll be glad to help you and then address the questions as they come in. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.